Hi, I'm Brooke Wallace filling in for Max Brantley with your Arkansas Times News headline updates for Thursday, November the 21st. The Little Rock School District Community Advisory Board will hold its monthly meeting at 5.30 p.m. at the LRSD boardroom. The Advisory Board will consider the district's plan for redrawing high school attendance zones. A lawsuit settlement agreement requires the district to redraw attendance lines using a race-neutral rationale. The district has put forward three proposals. The board may also talk about a draft memorandum of understanding between the district and the state. A draft released last month drew the ire of community advocates. See the Arkansas blog for more information about the proposal. LRSD Superintendent Mike Poor may come under fire during the public comment period of the meeting. He told a meeting of the political animals group yesterday that parents didn't care about issues of local control and said, quote, the most extreme voices on both sides don't understand community opinion on the school district and don't have a true sense of what's going on in the schools. Well, last night, a federal judge blocked four scheduled executions of federal inmates, including Daniel Lewis Lee, convicted of the 1999 killing of a Pope County family, including an eight-year-old child. The Trump administration had pushed to carry out the executions beginning next month, which would have been the first federal execution since 2003. Attorney General William Barr announced in July that he was directing the Federal Bureau of Prisons to schedule the executions of five inmates on death row using a new federal death penalty protocol. Those executions are now on hold. Last month, a three-judge panel of the U.S. Court of Appeals for the Ninth Circuit granted a stay of execution for one of the prisoners as the court reviews an appeal concerning alleged anti-Native American bias in his case. Yesterday, U.S. District Court Judge Tanya Chutkin halted the remaining four scheduled executions. She ruled that the plaintiffs have proven a likelihood of success on their argument that Barr's protocol violated federal law by establishing a single procedure for federal executions rather than implementing them using the procedures prescribed in the state of conviction. The last time the federal government executed a prisoner was 2003. The U.S. Supreme Court ruled the death penalty unconstitutional in 1972, and it wasn't reinstated federally until 1988. The University of Arkansas's new Student Success Center, which will give academic support to undergraduates and first-generation Arkansans when it opens in 2022, has won a $5 million grant from the Walmart Foundation. A news release from the university said the center will work with students during the summer before their first year and give ongoing support with career placement and graduate programs. Well, that's all your news headlines for today. As always, read more on the Arkansas blog. Thanks and see you tomorrow.